Family, good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Fetty G with SSK Killings, man. Listen, <clears throat> if y'all can, family, y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, family. We doing this one from the car today. I'm headed to uh, an eye appointment, y'all. I go, I go, I gotta go get my eyes checked this morning. Shout out the to top for making my appointment. But listen, family, somebody just inboxed me, and I'm finna start doing more videos like this. I literally stopped where I'm at. Um, to read this guy message on Instagram. I will put it up on the screen, but I don't want to make it personal. So I'm going to leave it out. But he he got an American Stafford. Uh, he's from Louisiana. He a rapper, he said. And he got an American Stafford mixed with a pit bull. And he wants to breed it to a bully. And he's asking, hey, if I breed this to a bully, would I be able to get bully puppies? Well, you won't get American bully puppies full-blooded, but you will get dogs that have bully in them. But again, what I want y'all to remember is this process, you could do whatever you want to do. If you want to breed a Rottweiler to a Chihuahua, you can. Now, would I encourage it? Not at all. I can't tell you what to do, fam. I could just, if you, if y'all come to me for advice, all I could do is share with y'all what I have to offer. So my advice and what I would have to offer to that gentleman, shout out to him. And again, I hope he didn't take my message as if I'm coming off the wrong way. I just wanted to be honest and open with him, family. And I tell y'all on this channel, um, I don't want to try to make it seem like I know everything because there's so much things that I don't know. And I don't want people to feel like I'm being arrogant because I'm not. I really don't care how you feel, honestly if I'm being honest. But at the same time, my intentions is not to come off that way. I just want to be upfront with people. If you want to start off, and this is to the gentleman, I will for sure say start off with a female and start off with, take your time. If it's financial reasons why you can't, why you got to go this route and get an American staffy mixed with a pit bull, if it's financial, just wait, fam. Y'all just wait. Y'all rushing the process. And in today's world, everybody want instant gratification. Everybody want it right now, right? And that's why most of the stuff we see in, in life right now, not only with the dogs, but just in life, nothing has any substance to it. Um, people pray to God. They want, they want it right now. Oh, I've been praying for two weeks and I ain't, right? And then when they get it, they happy for the moment, but then it has no substance. There isn't. It's no longevity to it. It's no, it's missing something. So you're not benefiting from it the way you would have if you would have waited. It's not on your time. It's about God's timing. So you want to be cautious about how fast you rush this process. Take your time. A lot of people see where I'm at right now. And again, y'all, I really haven't been making a lot of videos, y'all, because I've been cautious about as I told y'all, family, I got some personal stuff going on with where I live at, my city ordinance family. They've been on me about the dogs. Uh, my dogs is well taken care of, so they can't say nothing about that. But it's just some other things they 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 uh they tripping on. So I've been cautious about. And again, what I noticed, my YouTube channel that took off, family, and I didn't expect this. But again. I asked for this and God said, well, Fetty, if you want it, it's stuff that come with it. And if you want this, you got to have this too. So I asked for it. I got it. But now this is what come with it. I'm at, I'm in stores. I'm in different cities. People see me. Hey man, you the guy from YouTube with the dog. So now I'm trying to move a little bit more cautious. I'm trying to make sure I'm watching my surroundings. I'm trying to make sure I'm just crossing my T's, dotting my I's, but I asked for it. And this is what came with it. And I've accepted today, y'all. February 15th of 2023 that I said, fuck it. I'm in the water. I ain't going back now. So whatever come with it, I deal with it on the go. But I'm thankful to be in this position because not only, yeah, I'm doing what I do, but I'm also helping people. I'm inspiring people. I'm pushing people. I'm motivating people. And I know I look, I went a little bit off topic, but I got to give y'all the truth and I got to give y'all the background. But people see where I'm at right now and they like, I want that today. I didn't have this today family i've been working on this for years years i've been working on this and i see a lot of people come and ask me for advice some people i don't know some people that i know some people that got access to me daily i tell them what to do or i give them my opinion hey this how i will handle it and then they go off and do something else completely different and then they look like 
oh, bro, my dog this or my puppies this. And I'm like, bro, I told you to do this. Why the fuck would you ask me what to do? I tell you what to do. And then you go do this. Or you say, hey, this person told me I should do this. Well, why you ask me what you should do then if you weren't going to do it? And that's why a lot of people isn't getting the success that they want. So again, to my brother Trey, I would tell you, my brother, to take your time. Don't rush the process. Put you some money together. Be cautious. Be careful. Go out. Take your time. You ain't got to get it from me. Go out and find you something nice. If it take a year, six months, a year and a half, two years to save up the money that you need to save up, do that because it's going to better and you're going to appreciate it more. A lot of people run out. They go buy a dog, right? We keep it real, y'all. So I'm sorry. I need a little bit of chapstick. God damn it. I see a lot of people rush. Man, I got 800. I'm going to go buy this dog. It don't got no papers. One, the dog look like shit. If I'm just going to be quite honest, I see a lot of people dogs. Most of the time people say, hey, what you think of my dog? I respond. What do you think of the dog? They say, I love it. What shit? Then what you asking me for? It ain't what I think. It's what you think of the dog. But a lot of people that send me dogs, if I'm being honest right now in this video, they dogs look like it, it's not a dog that I would want at all. Right? The dog too skinny. Got a long head. A lot of different things that just don't fit the bully criteria. Well, they go out, they spend 800, 900, 500, 300, a thousand dollars on this dog. It look good when it's a tiny puppy, but then they get older, the shit don't look nothing like what they thought it was going to look like. They looking at my dogs, they looking at other people's dogs, and they like, damn, my dog don't look like that. Now they just let the dog go. Why? Because they ain't really got nothing invested. They only invested $600. And to some people, they would say that's a lot of money. But to that person, they can risk another $600. But this is what I see people do. They'll spend six, $800 on the dog. The dog grow up to look like shit. They get rid of the dog, get rid of it. Then they go spend another $600 on another dog. Why would you repeat the same thing? That don't make sense. Or they find a dog on Facebook, Craigslist. Dog look amazing. Beautiful parents embodies what a bully is they go send this person a thousand dollars and then they get scammed fam take your time save up the money that you need to save up go invest in a quality dog take your time go find a breeder that been doing it for a while go back and say man i trust that guy he been posting videos i seen his face i seen his dogs i seen his consistency i seen his work i seen his progress i seen his motivation or whatever it is i've watched this guy this who i'm gonna go with and then you move in that direction god will tell you what direction to move in but a lot of us don't take the time to listen or god talk to you you hear him and then you don't trust the process or you don't take your time you want it when you want it instant gratification you ain't worried about god say hey give it a year or give it two years or however long you rush you jump in now you put yourself and the dog in a bad position the dog got on the street you ain't taking care of the dog because you mad at the dog when you're really mad at yourself because you went and got this damn dog that grew up to look like a skateboard or a screwdriver you get what i'm saying and i'm not talking about Nobody specific. I'm just speaking in general. You want to take your time, fam. Go out and get something. But if you breed a pit bull to a bully, you don't have an American bully. You have a cross, a mixed breed dog between a pit bull and American bully. If you go breed a Stafford to a bully, you don't have an American bully. You have a Stafford mixed with a bully, a crossbred dog, a mixed bred dog. So you want to be cautious and careful about what direction you're moving. And I see so many people doing this. And they doing it just to say, ask yourself this, family. Ask yourself this. Why am I doing this? Does this make sense? Is this my best move? Will this keep me in this game for the long run? Ask yourself these questions, fam, before you just jump in that water. Because it's a real deal question. Now you ask yourself those questions. Actually, don't even ask them to you, but write them down. So you can look at it. Write it down and ask yourself, why am I doing this? Does this make sense? 
Should I be doing this? Am I equipped to do this? Will this give me a return on my money? How can I have an impact? How can I reach the people? How can I be of service to the people? Right? That's one of the biggest ones. How can I be of service to the people? And does this inspire, motivate, encourage me to keep going? Ask yourself those questions, fam. And if the answer is no, then you're moving in the wrong direction. If the answer is yes, and you being honest with yourself, then you move in that direction. But I would not recommend or encourage anybody to breed a Stafford to a bully. Stafford to a... Every dog should be bred in its rightful class. Bully to bully. German Shepherd to German Shepherd. Uh, Frenchie to Frenchie. English to English. Rock roller to rock roller, right? You want to you wanna line things up accordingly, fam. Remember, it ain't about what... Fam, I can't tell nobody what to do. Y'all do what you feel is best for you and your program. But if people coming to me for advice, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And I'm going to be straightforward with you. So, family, be cautious about the direction you're moving. Be cautious about what it is that you want. Be careful about what you ask for because you just might get it. Uh, one of my coaches said that to me. Shout out to Coach Brooks. I love you to death, baby. Coach Brooks said, Fetty, be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. We'll leave that between me and Brooks. KTA, baby. But family, I hope this helps somebody. Y'all let me know in the comments if this helped you. Family, it's bigger than dogs. What type of impact is you trying to leave on the world, on the people? I just read, I just seen a, a, a person was talking about something that was in the Bible. And it was saying about how, I don't remember the full story, y'all, right? But they said how this lady had did something. And she had 300 and something people that was misled by her words, by her post. And God held her accountable for misleading those people because she had the knowledge, the wherewithal, and the information to move these people in the right direction. But she was moving from a standpoint of not being fully educated on the point or not being fully aware that her words that wasn't a hundred percent true would mislead these people 300 and something people she misled um and as y'all know martin luther king he said i led my people into a burning building right before he he left meaning i misled my people family i made a mistake um so be cautious think about the long run think about where this is going to take you and the people that's following you. So, family, I love y'all. I hope this helped. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, family. It's Fetty G with SSK Kennels. And I'm finna go get my goddamn eyes checked. I love you, baby.